I think it's working. What's up, everyone? Yogi Zilli here, doing the vlog thing. This is my Geektastic vlog. Uh, vlog I'll be doing every Sunday, tentatively. Because I can't, I, I've, I've decided, I got so many websites and projects I'm working on. Like, as much as I love to write, doing a blog where I'm writing is not always as easy because writing is one of my biggest creative strengths and I end up just over analyzing my articles. I got tons of drafts that never see the day of life, uh, the, the, the light of day. Blah, blah, blah. English, OP. <laughs> and anyway, um, you know, I, I just sit there in a queue. Some, some of them I eventually get to, some of them I don't. But on that end, I do notice that a lot of people are very curious about um, gaming clans. So I guess I should add this part of the, let me add it to my Twitch stream. I am streaming on Twitch. Oh gosh, the lags, the input lag. Twitch loves doing this, I don't know why. So anyway, take my input. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm gonna talk about in today's vlog. And today is January, 19th, January 19th. I'm like three months away from my birthday and I'm gonna get even older. January 19th, 2013, 2014, 14, 2014. Oh my God, I can't believe the year. It doesn't even feel like it, right? Uh, so we're gonna talk about uh, gaming clans, giveaways, uh, some of my favorite games of 2013, content strategy for this year, and boobs. <laughs> May not be safe for work, or for kids. But uh, anyway, kicking off the geek geektastic vlog. If you don't know me, uh, a few things to know about me. I do marketing consulting. Um, I'm a game designer. <sighs> I dabble in a lot of things. I gotta mess all over. I'm getting ADD. Um, I also like like doing cartooning. Um, but yeah, my biggest passion is definitely writing and um, game design and game mechanics as a whole. And marketing is just kind of something I do because I'm happy to be very good at it. I have a lot of experience with it and. I just don't want to do IT anymore. I did IT for a long time. So marketing, you know, is a smooth transition because I did a lot of business consulting and, it, you know, there's always a need for that. Everybody needs marketing. Everybody needs brand exposure and help getting their content out there. So I do it so much that I kind of slack on my own stuff. That's kind of the nature of it. You know, if you're a doctor, you know, you don't operate on yourself unless you're weird. Um, we're off to a really good start. I'm already rambling as it is. Uh, so anyway, gaming clans, uh, a lot of people showed interest in that, um, especially, especially my main blog on Yomar.me. So I, I do plan to have a series to kick off about that kind of stuff. Well, to continue it, because any time I write about gaming clans and how to run a gaming clan, how to expand a gaming clan, how to deal with issues in a gaming clan, I, I get the most feedback. I mean, those, and there's always consistent traffic going to those pieces of information. So obviously there's a huge void there. No one's filling it. So I'll be happy to do that. Um, I don't know how good the stream is going to be because right now I am recording locally and I am also streaming on Twitch. So I'm um, a poor computer, a poor computer. Um, giveaways. I am doing... Gosh, I'm even lagging bad, you know. I'm <laughs> doing a bunch of giveaways. I got a bunch of Steam games. My goal is to grow my Twitch channel. I'm not as big on YouTube, though I'm obviously gonna get this up on YouTube, which is why I'm doing local recording. But I'm I'm very hesitant because of how um, YouTube has been handling things. You know what, I'm gonna have to take this over to <laughs> YouTube because maybe maybe not, maybe it'll be all right. Will you behave? So distracted. I start looking at numbers and things, red stuff come up and it makes me really antsy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have uh, Risk of Rain, um, Skulls of the Shogun, Magic 2014, Duels of the Planeswalker. Um, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, Natural Selection 2, a bunch of stuff that got off of Steam uh, sales. So the best you know, Steam holiday sale is to spend way too much money on that. 
but uh, I want to build a community. I, I definitely want to support more indie games. So I got a lot of little random gems in there, like Hammer Watch, another great one. So if you, I think I got a copy of Castle Storm as well. So if you want to get up on on the fun, join the horseplay community on Steam. Uh, connect with me on Steam. But the easiest, the easiest thing to do is join the horseplay community on Steam, and you know, um, subscribe on my Twitch and my YouTube. I'm Yogizilla on both of them. And if you can't find me, just uh, Google Yogizilla, and you can find all my stuff, all my social media stuff. Or as my friend Open One Next Two likes to say, social medias. And like, no, it's already plural. Media is, uh, is plural. Medium is singular. A lot of people don't know that. Um, yeah, this video quality will probably be terrible. But you can still hear me, so I'm going to keep running with it. And I'm going to stop worrying about what the numbers are telling me. Um, but I did want to do this on my Twitch channel as well, just because a lot of these giveaways, um, the goal is to grow my Twitch uh, again, I'm not too worried about YouTube because of all the stupid stuff they do, like all instant banning, instant suspending, instant revoking, pooping on people, whatever they're doing. It's just automated crap, and it's it's a, it's a pain in the butt. I mean, if you have, if you're streaming a video game and it has copyrighted music in it, but it's part of the game soundtrack, which you know the publishers already paid their dues on it, they're like, oh, sorry, can't have this because this is a uh, copyrighted material. It, it's you're you're doing free marketing for um for the company whatever it is you're streaming so, and they should be paying you if anything for that not not throwing you to the dogs and I know YouTube's doing it but you know the companies could go in and be like hey you know what this they're getting they're getting the word out about what we're doing who cares if they're monetizing it people gotta make a living this is a legitimate line of work <laughs> for me it's a supplemental income I'm not. By any means, trying to be a Swifty or a PewDiePie or whoever else, to, uh, a Total Biscuit. Nah, I try and compete with those guys. Those guys are pros. And they have a lot more commitment than I do, a lot more follow through. Um, by the way, for those who are new, I didn't get punched in the face. That's a birthmark. I just want to get that out of the way. This is my this is my raw vlog. I'm, I'm coming real at you, all right? Still letting you know how it is. I have nothing to hide. I believe in authenticity. I think more brands should be like that. More marketers should be like that. But that's a whole other story. I, I guess I, I am already delving into content strategy and the marketing strategy as a whole. Um, you know, it's good when you when you do this kind of stuff. Have some kind of idea of what kind of people you're talking to, and more than likely you want to attract other people like you. Like I'm really big into indie games. And I, I play a lot of weird stuff because the mainstream stuff I feel has gotten so passe, so boring. Um, I love multiplayer gaming. I don't really play single player games. There's a lot of great single player games that I would like to play if I had the time. But I'm a family man and I'm doing my own business and all this other stuff going on. And playing single player games knowing that I'm not going to finish them, kind of pointless. So I always look for fun multiplayer games. Um, except for MMOs. Those are like a lifestyle and I try to avoid them. And again, there's tons of great ones out there. Like, I would love to play Firefall. Um, I love some of the people that work there. I know at least one of them uh, personally. And they're cool people, but... Uh, oh, too much commitment. MOBAs is as far as I go. Which, uh, that, that's a good segue. Uh, some of my favorite games that I play in 2013. A lot of mainstays are in there. And then there's some fresh faces. Um... Just based on the, what I spent the most time playing. Um, Risk of Rain is up there. Soul Forge. I noticed a lot of TCGs in here, by the way. Scrolls. Um, I, could, I guess technically I could throw Hearthstone out there. Since I watched enough gameplay video in 2013 to feel like I played it. And I also had the, uh, I had a beta invite for Hearthstone a while. And I just noticed it now in January. New Year. And I'm enjoying what I've what I've seen so far. Um, it's a fun game. I'm actually doing pretty well in it too. Um, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. A lot of these are not 2013 releases, but that's what I played in 2013. Awesome. Black Ops 2 is my one of my few mainstream ones. It's always a good game I could pick up and play again. Very fast pace. Battlefield 3, not Battlefield 4, because I don't want to jump into the newness. I'm just 
milking old games that I haven't played enough to feel like I've really got my money's worth. I'm not going to start using my fingers anymore. I'm going to run out of fingers. But uh, um, what else was there? Guardian Heroes, the HD remix on um, Xbox 360. Still a great game today. Uh, it was a great game on Sega Saturn, and it's still a great game today. And, uh, oh, gosh. We're going to be talking about that game on Gaming History 101. I should be a guest on that show. It's a great podcast. Check it out on Stitcher or allgames.com. There's a plug for you. Um, what else? There's a lot of stuff. It says Soul Forge and it says Scrolls, right? Um, Magic 2014 and 2013, the uh, Duels of the Planeswalker series. Uh, both great games. I'm disappointed 2014 did not incorporate the plane chase mode where it's a free for all and then you have little cards in the middle that change the scenario. Reminds me a lot of uh reminds me a lot of flux. Um Smite was a pleasant surprise. Actually I, I, I got back into that recently, but I played it a while back too. So I guess they can count to seven thirteen, huh? Honorable mention. Um Borderlands 2, did I mention that? Uh, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of games. But basically, if you look at my Steam list, you see what I put a lot of time into. Rogue Legacy, for example. P- very pleasant surprise. One of the few single-player games I actually buy the plane. Um, I try to stick to the multiplayer game, because I, uh, I like to build a community and have things that I can play on my gaming clan, uh, NOF, Nipples of Fate, when I'm uninitiated. Yeah, so that's basically it. I should probably cut this short because I'm rambling on already. I have boobs. I want to talk about boobs. Um, I don't have boobs. I mean, I guess I have man boobs, but they're not uh, appealing enough. So I know I'm not the most pleasant face or body to look at, but, uh, you know, I got, I got personality. So, you know, you should guys get, you get, you should hang around and check out my stuff, you know, on Twitch, yo, and the, and the YouTube, yo, and I'm on blogs because, you know, I'm fun like that. But I realize that a lot of times, especially with Twitch, it... The the girls that stream, whether they're very attractive or just decent, if they got cleavage or they're just girls, they just they they had like the video. There's a meme out there for the student, but the video is like half their screen. Maybe not so bad. Maybe it's like a fifth of their screen, but it's big enough realty. It's like mm, I'm a girl, see, and I'm playing games, and it's it's such a great gimmick. Something I wish I I like. I, I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna hire a hot girl. I have some people I could hire. My wife wouldn't do it. I wouldn't want her to anyway. If I could find someone. And then I'll just have them stream for me. And tell them what to say and what to play. Oh, ho. hey, Latarian. What's up? Got someone in the Twitch chat. Again, I'm going to apologize if uh, video is choppy, but I'm recording locally and I'm also streaming at the same time. And I'm just, this is kind of like my test vlog. But I will repeat. That if you want to be in on the giveaway action, I'll come back to the boobs in a second. Uh, make sure you're part of the Horseplay Steam community group. And like, subscribe, follow on Twitch and YouTube. Yogizilla. And, and support my friend uh, as well, my, my co-host on Horseplay, Obi-1X2. He's got good stuff too, and we, we collaborate a lot. Um... But my goal is to hit 50 uh, followers on Twitch. But then the ultimate goal is to hit 100. So I'm going to do it by milestones. We hit 50. I'm going to set up a, 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 a goal of like two weeks. So by the end of January. We hit um, 50 followers. Tell you what, I think I will give you a pick. I look like iced tea. <laughs> wow. That's the, I don't know if that's a compliment or what. Yeah, yeah, it was good. <laughs> this is why I like doing it live and not just doing local recording. Because you get stuff like that. I'm surprised Sonic Man's not in here going, jizz. That's what he does. He goes, he goes on my Twitch chat and he says jizz all the time. But uh, what the hell was I saying anyway? Uh, yeah, so if we hit 50 followers on Twitch, on my, on my Twitch channel, I will, ha- I'm, I'm leaning towards giving you a pick of several games that I have purchased just for the sake of 
giveaways. Oh, another one of those is Guns of Icarus Online, which is a great game that uh, has fallen on, under the radar for a lot of people. That's a very unique game. You get to f have four player teams on the ship, and, and everybody mans different stations, and you have epic airship battles. So if you ever like play Final Fantasy and wanted to do more with those airships, Guns of Icarus Online will let you do that. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty darn fun. Um, I got to get back into that. Uh, <laughs> Latarian kind of threw a curveball by saying I look like Ice T. <laughs> and yeah, I, I said I'm I'm playing Hearthstone on my on my Twitch stream. That's kind of deceptive. I'm not playing Hearthstone, but I figure if I if I say I'm not playing something, people are not gonna come and check out a vlog. That's boring. But let's talk about Hearthstone. Hearthstone, I think, is pretty awesome. And I, and I feel like I'm betraying my my friends on Soul Forge because. I have been streaming that much Soul Forge re recently, and there's a huge community in that game, and they've been the most supportive people. The developers have been supportive, and the the fans themselves, and it's a great TCG. It's a great deck building game. Uh, Soul Forge is really awesome. It's really unique. Um, like you see a lot of formulaic ones that are very similar. Like uh, Might and Magic was a great game, but it's like pretty much every other TCG. But Soul Forge has a really unique thing like you're for example one of the most unique game mechanics is the fact that your hand refreshes every turn so that changes the dynamics of the game now hearthstone is great and i and i don't feel like i'm betraying soul forge by saying hearthstone is great though it's like there's like there's separate camps because what happened was a lot of people were playing soul forge because they were waiting for hearthstone i thought it's being a pain but just over there shaking, trying to get my attention, apparently. But anyway, a lot of people were playing Soul Forge avidly. And the only reason they stumbled across is because they couldn't get into Hearthstone. They were looking for something to fill the void. So they found Soul Forge free to play. Which Scrolls is not, unfortunately. And Scrolls is another good one, but you gotta pay to play it in the early access. It's probably gonna stay like that too, just like Minecraft did. Same company, by the way. But now there's a lot of hate because Soulforge had a huge thriving community, like a cult following as well, a very engaged community. Anytime you stream Soulforge, people just flock in and they're really cool. Um, and now Hearthstone, a lot of people are getting invited to Hearthstone because uh, they increased server capacity and they closed beta. And Soulforge doesn't have as many people playing it. Kind of sucks. Um, both Soulforge and Hearthstone are very expensive. Um, but I think you get more bang for your buck with Soul Forge, and you don't have to. What I like about Soul Forge is it doesn't feel like a grind. They make it purposely so that you don't have to feel like you have to play a lot to be in a better place. But the meta game got a little stale, and I think they just came out with a, a new update for it. So I might check it out because the meta game got a little stale because everybody kept running the same kind of decks. And that happens in a lot of deck building games. I haven't played Hearthstone enough to see if that's an issue there. But I hear there's a bit of a paywall and there's a bit of pay to win. And that's, I guess it's to be expected in deck building games. But, you know, Hearthstone is fun. It's very fast paced. It's, it's not as much depth. So you can just play it casually. And it's it's fun. It's beautiful. Um, it's smooth. Silky smooth. And it's a Blizzard game. Anything, so you get the Warcraft uh, universe there. Um... The yeah, Hearthstone's cool. I like it. I'll be streaming it more. Doing videos and whatnot for it. Um, Back to boobs. Boobs and... I can't find my lip stuff. My lips are really chapped, and I know where my lip stuff is at. You never find the lip stuff when you need it. I have, like, tons of it, and I can't find any of it. In this epic mess. In this... My man cave slash storage slash gaming room slash office. Boobs, boobs in video games and in, in, on streams and YouTube and all that. Great gimmick. We fall for it. We men, we fall for it all the time. Whether we're loyal to our significant others or we're playing the field or whatever's going on. Single, ready to mingle. We fall for it. Every time. You know? There's something about it. Like, even in this day and age when we know there's a lot of you know, video game has become so commonplace that it's it's a no brainer that there's girls playing games, especially especially on League of Legends and War, World of Warcraft, the two biggest games played. Period. 
anywhere. They, they're huge. Black Ops 2 as well. All the Call of Duty games. and uh, You know, you're, you know you're going to run into girls because it's millions upon millions, if not billions of people playing those games. Um, maybe billions is exaggerating, but you know what I mean. But we fall for it. Every time we find, find a girl playing a game, streaming it, doing a video, it's like... No matter how corny they are, how bad they are at the game, how dry the personality might be, it's like, it's a girl. And it's that awe. It's a great gimmick. You know? I, I wouldn't doubt that one day someone's going to be very bored and they're going to find a way to do a Google effect type overlay where they could disguise themselves as a girl and give themselves a girly voice and create their own personality. It used to be that, that women would pretend to be men because, you know, men had a uh, better advantage and whatever. Um, I think it hasn't been like that for a long time. I know I know a, a woman that started her own marketing firm, and for the longest, she pretended to be a man, and she did only online business, and she did all these different contracts online virtually, uh, always th via email and tweets and whatever she did communicate. I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't think we're I don't think we're in that state anymore. I think we're in a state where men wish they could be women, if it, for nothing else, so they could just play with their boobs all day. <laughs> that probably sounds really terrible, doesn't it? But I'm just being honest. We're fascinated by boobs, and it's a great gimmick, especially if you got nothing else going on for you. <laughs> anyway, before I go on and say th something that might be offensive to someone. I'm at, I'm like at like 20 minutes now. I don't want to drag this on too long, so I'm gonna cut this here. Hopefully, this will be decent of quality. If not, you probably won't see my geektastic blog vlog vlog blah 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 on Twitch. It'll probably just be straight on YouTube. I'm gonna try to do it every Sunday. So yeah, don't forget to check out the stuff in the bottoms. How do you connect with me? You know, just Google YogiZilla. It's very easy. And um, don't forget about the giveaways. Join the Horseplay Steam Community Group. Can't stress that enough. Look for us to come on Stitcher, maybe iTunes soon. Um, we're going to do some syndication and be on maybe on allgames.com or something. Who knows? Um, that's the podcast. We do it live on Twitch every Thursday night, 11 p.m. Eastern for now. My time is subject to change. And go on the Obi-1X2 channel or my channel, YogiZilla, on Twitch, and you'll see us live. And we love to have people come in and uh, tell us random stuff. Like, you know, like iced tea. Yes, that's, it doesn't get better than that. But anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in to this vlog. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments if you're watching this on YouTube. Or tweet me at YogiZilla. Love your feedback. And... I think I'm going to party if this sucks as far as the simulcast recording and, you know, s streaming. I'm going to just probably just record locally because I can record locally and have no problems. And then stick to that. Stick, stick to my guns on that. But I would like to stream on Twitch as well. Kill two birds with one stone. Why am I recording locally? Because the Twitch export option doesn't always work right. So we'll see if it works right with this formatting. And if it does... Then I won't have to record locally. See what I'm saying here? All right. You've seen enough of my ugly mug. Thank you. Thanks again for supporting my humble little channels on YouTube and Twitch. This is Yogizilla signing off for the Geektastic blog. Word. Ice tea, yo. For reals. Peace.